Then in the end, you cross your fingers and hope for a miracle. But you know, once in a while, a miracle does happen. Just often enough to let you know that you're not wrong or foolish to hope for one. But you're destroying yourself, getting so personally involved. I know. Don't you think I told myself that? I've seen that woman's real face, nurse. The face of her real self. It's a good face. It's a human face. I understand. But I must confess, it's easier for me to think of her as human when her face is covered up. Why? Why shouldn't people be allowed to be different? Why? Doctor, please. Careful. What you're talking is this treason? <sighs> this case has upset your balance. Your sense of values. I'll be all right once the wraps are off. Once I know one way or the other. She keeps complaining about her legs. I'll be down to see. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our leader. Leader speeches about it again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I shall talk to you about glorious conformity, about the delight and the ultimate pleasure of our unified society. You recall, of course, that directionless, unproductive, over-sentimentalized era in man's history when it was assumed that dissent was a natural and healthy adjunct to society. You recall that during this period of time, there was a strange, over-sentimentalized concept that it mattered not that people were different, that this world could exist in some sort of crazy patchwork glued together in a fragmented society. We know now that that was wrong. Now, as I unwrap, I want you to keep your eyes open. I want you to describe to me the different shading of light as you perceive it, as each layer of those bandages come off. All right. Now, if you make any movement, or if you start to get emotional on us in any way, I'm going to have the nurses hold you down and have the anesthetist put you under sedation. Is that understood? I promise. I won't. layer now, Miss Tyler. I can... I can see your outline. Just vaguely. But I can see you. Now I'm gonna remove the last bandage, Miss Tyler. Do you want a mirror? No. No, thank you. No mirror. I want you to remember one thing, Miss Tyler. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. We've done all we could. If we were successful, all well and good. There are no problems. If, however, this final procedure has not achieved the desired results, keep in mind you can still live a long and fruitful life among people of your own kind. As soon as we discover these results, we can either release you or... Doctor? Yes. If... If I'm still... If I'm still so ugly... Is there any other alternative? Could... Could I be put away? Well, under certain circumstances, Miss Tyler, the state does provide for the extermination of certain undesirables. There are many factors to be considered, though, that bear on that decision. And under the circumstances, considering your age and your general physical condition, I doubt very much if we could permit anything but your transfer to a communal group of people with your... your disability. You'll make me go, then. That'll probably be the case. 
All right, that's Tyler now. Remain very quiet, please. And keep your eyes open. Tyler. Now here comes the last of it. I wish you every good.